Yeah, good to be back uh, in Ames, Iowa. You know, those tournaments are great, but, but you're down there from about Tuesday to Sunday. Those are, those, it's long. And so good to be back. Got a day off today. We'll get rested. I've uh, been watching tape on Cincinnati all morning. Uh, get out of here, uh, do some things with my staff, and then get back and, and continue to watch them. So we're ready to go for Tuesday and Wednesday. You know, we'll have short practices because it's been a long week. But really focus on Cincinnati and what we got to do to get our team better. But it's a great opportunity. Uh, I think we learned a lot about our team in Florida. Uh, we had opportunities down the stretch, obviously against a really good Gonzaga team, uh, and that's an area we just got to grow in, and we will. Coach, how uh, big of a spark was the press for you guys, and how well have the guys adapted to that? Because it seems like since they're fast and since they want to play fast, they would be well adapted. But did they take into it right away? Yeah, I think so. You know, I think this team has to change defenses. Uh, we got to use our athleticism. Uh, we got to use our, you know, activity uh, to make it tough on people. And I thought we, you know, we, we we moved it back a little bit, and I thought that that gave them some problems. But the biggest thing we did in the second half is we just competed at a whole different level. Uh, you know, we held Gonzaga, a team that averages. You know what, 80 something points. We held them to 29% shooting in the second half, and you know I'm sure they missed some open shots, but you know we flew around, we contested, and we competed, and that's what we've got to do. This team has to do that, you know, every possession, every game, uh, every half. And if we do that, like I said down there, is good things will happen. You said you learned a lot about your team. What did you would learn about them? I think the first thing you're down there and, and with the new guys, you, you learn guys that you hadn't been around in their first year is I think we have good depth. You know, we don't have great size. You know, we don't have 6'9", 6'10". That, that's not going to come here right now. But we have great depth. I thought Daryl Bowie played exceptional down there. I thought Donovan Jackson, and especially in the Miami game, you know, played really, really good for us. Nick Babb, I'm obviously a big fan of his. You know, and with those guys and Solomon Young out, we really – some forget somebody off the top of my head. You know, those three guys played really well down there. Um, you know, we got to get Matt some more shots. Uh, we got to find ways to get him some more shots. But I found out that, you know, I think the character, the character of our team is very, very good. Um, I think that when we're locked in defensively, that we can be a really good basketball team. And so this was our tough stretch. We started, you know, with a neutral game against a good Missouri Valley team. Uh, which was going to be a good test in the opening round tournament, a, a good ACC team in Miami, and then a top 10 team in Gonzaga. And now we got a really good Cincinnati team on Thursday. And then, um, you know, we still have outside of conference, high major wise, Iowa and Vanderbilt. How deep would you like your rotation to be? I mean, I know you kind of talked a little bit about it, but it seems like yeah, I think you're just finding more and seven, more options. Seven to nine. I mean, seven to nine. I just think. You know, Solomon's out right now, and I don't know when he'll exactly be back. So he's probably beat nine right now with the injury. Uh, but those eight guys, I think they're going to play. And, you know, everybody, each game isn't going to be exactly happy with their minutes, uh, but they got to produce when they're in. And, you know, most of the guys off the bench are going to play in that 15 to 25 minute range, which is which is good if they, you know, and, you know, like I said, some games with foul trouble is going to be more, some games with style of play it's going to be more. And, uh, but I think seven and nine is what, what you look at. Cincinnati obviously known for a kind of blue collar, physical style of play, sprinkling in great athletes. How do you contend with that, obviously, in, in their house as well? You know, uh, the biggest thing uh, is we got to do what we did against Gonzaga. You know, we were, I think Miami and Gonzaga are both plus 12 in rebounding margin. And we were even with Gonzaga and minus one against Miami. And so we've got to try to win the battle of the boards. Um, we need our guards to rebound. If you look just right now, I just looked at Monte's averaging five, Deontay is averaging nine, uh, Naz seven, um, you know, Daryl Bowie seven. You know, uh, you know, we got to just collect a rebound against those guys. Um, they are physical up front, you know, with Gary Clark, Kyle Washington's really, really good players. It's the first time I really got a chance to watch him play. Um, Jacob Evans is a, is a true wing that can really can play. They can go small and put him at the four and try to do a mismatch like we do with Burton. And so, uh, but they're they're good. They, they change defenses, the matchup zone, the two two one. And so, we got to just make sure we get a good shot every time down against them. I think we'll match the intensity, especially being here in Hilton.
we know you've talked to Deontay a lot about what you guys expect from him. Does it feel like he's starting to get it and really kind of adapt to those principles that you want him to yeah, follow? I, I think so. The 29 points were great. You know, that, that may not happen every night, you know, because you're going to miss shots or, or guys must be, guys from the teams may be playing us different ways uh, to take him away. But the thing that I've been happy with is I don't know what he averaged for the three games rebounding wise, but I know the last two he averaged right at 10 rebounds a game and 12 in a, in a high level game with Gonzaga. And so we need that production for him on the glass. He's at eight and a half. He needs to get to 10. You know, I, I, that's his challenge. I challenged him from that standpoint. And, uh, not that's not going to, I don't think that's like going to make any difference, but that is what Deontay needs to do for this team. He needs to be in that double double category every night. How much has Holden's foul troubles concern you moving forward? Not really. You know, I like Daryl a lot. Daryl's been really good for us. So, you know, and then playing small. Uh, we need more work at playing small <laughs> if we're going to play consistently with Bab at the four uh, because Bab's done some really good things for us on both ends of the floor. Uh, he's got size enough to defend that position. Uh, it doesn't really concern me. That What just concerns me is just the way he's getting them. He's just getting some, some bad ones where he's just got to be smarter. Is that something you kind of realize? Yeah, the so assistant with coaches just got to get him in there and, and show him tape. And um, when he does it in practice, we got to point it out. And, uh, you know, we just got to continue to talk about it. It's just the, the over the back ones that, hey, if you can't get the rebound, just get back. Uh, the poor hedges, you know, when you're late on the hedge, jumping out and, 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 and getting a cheap one there. Uh, those are the ones you just got to. You get the legal screens, ball screens, we said so many, I can live with those here and there. It's just the, the bad ones we gotta get rid of. Coach, nationally, I know a lot of people were question mark was how do you replace George, but also Abdul and Jamil. How has this team seemingly not missed a beat with losing those three and how much has it meant to get Naz back? It seems like uh, losing those three guys were big, but so far so good for this team, they really haven't missed a beat. But those three guys were huge. I mean, I mean, George is, as good of a player as I've coached, uh, probably best IQ guy I've ever coached. And then Nader had a tremendous year. McKay's obviously got size and length, but I think our senior leadership's been really good. I mean, Monte is obviously an exceptional special player. Naz's leadership's great. Matt's a terrific player. Uh, Burton, is, he's got to play at the level he's playing right now. Uh, we're just smaller than last year. You know, Burton can, you know, we don't run a lot of the same stuff that we ran for Niang, some of it, but you know, we posted Niang a lot more off the block a little bit. We haven't done that as much for Burton right now. We may later as we go further in the year, but these guys, these, I think these older guys have a lot of pride. Uh, they got a lot of character, they're tough. They're used to winning. And so I think people, you know, after we played Indiana State like that, everybody was like, oh boy, you know, and then we came back and really played Miami well. And then Gonzaga, obviously we had a, we had a great opportunity to win that game. This team deeper, do you think, than last year? I, I think it's deeper. From a standpoint of you probably could play seven, eight, nine, and, and feel really good with those guys out there. Last year, you know, I think whatever we had off the top of my head, I think there was six guys that played the majority of the minutes, and you know, seven, eight was a walk on. I think and, and Jordan Ashton, I believe, you know, who's doing well now for for Northern Ireland. With the, the physicality you mentioned from Cincinnati that you're expecting, is that uh, make your pressure more important? Is that going to be a, a big tool for you on Thursday? Uh, the biggest thing is, you know, the thing that was in the first half watching the game on the tape, uh, watching the game, excuse me, on the plane ride home last night is just the first half we didn't have a ball, any ball pressure. And they killed us when we tried to throw the post because he's so big, Karnuski's so big, but we just weren't in the right position and we weren't tough enough. And so our ball pressure's got to be really good. we got to be active. You know, uh, all these games, you know, Gonzaga can score. You know, Cincinnati, they got guys that are tough to guard. Washington's tough. Evans is tough. Copain's very, very good. And so you're going to win this game again on, on, a, you know, on the defensive end. You know, can we make the tough plays? Can we guard them? And offensively, can we execute and take good shots? Our biggest thing, some things when our offense is, is bad is we're just – shot selection is poor and the ball doesn't move. It, it, we're, we're shooting it so fast. And that's what we did early to get down against Gonzaga. We were trading baskets, trading baskets, and then we started missing. They kept making. Now we're down, you know, 15. When will Young be reevaluated? Uh, I think, you know, it's just a week to week thing right now. And so, uh, you know, I'll meet with Vic tomorrow before practice and kind of see where we're at. Any other questions? Thank you, Coach. Thanks.